welcome to my channel, Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I've used a ketogenic journey to lose 206 pounds, but I'm not done yet. And yes, I have somewhat of weight from the holidays because, yes, Christmas Eve, I had some Oreos and other stuff. Christmas Day, I had some stuff. Uh, New Year's Eve, I had some more stuff. <laughs> Which is no big deal. I put on some water weight, but it is coming down. So this is day four of In Your Carb Confusion, phase one by Dr. Eric Westman and Amy Berger, also known as page four to the community of keterers out there who's been doing anything with Dr. Eric Westman in the past. It's almost identical. Um, give or take a few things because it has been tweaked over the years. The original page four, you could have berries, you could have nuts. The newer page fours it changed and changed and lowered and changed stuff again and and now it's changed again and you can have four ounces of cheese instead of only two but no berries no nuts unfortunately that's still the same and only six olives why six we'll never know maybe it's a calorie thing maybe it's a carb thing who knows so i am going to go ahead and show you this morning's uh glucose carb manager from yesterday like all those readings gkis um, let you see all that good stuff. We are doing a weigh-in every single day this month. We are doing the ketones every day. All the fun things, bleeding, getting on a scale. Yeah, fun. But let me go ahead and show you all of that from yesterday. And, and the weigh-in would be from this morning, but those foods, that activity is what affects the weigh-in. Hey, right, so my Fitbit, what did I do yesterday? 12,000. 591 steps today is sucking people really bad I don't think I'll make it today but uh, we'll see also my blood pressure yesterday was 117 over 79 okay, so my sleep was decent I'm averaging about six hours 20 minutes um, so I'm waking up all natural all by myself every morning now at around 7 or before as long as that keeps happening, I'm good. I haven't been sleepy once today. Today is the first day I can say I woke up with energy, ready to go, not sleepy at all. Okay, so let's go over yesterday. Yesterday the 3rd, I had 13 total carbs. I had 129 fat, 149 protein, 1816 calories. Remember... I don't care about the other numbers. On this challenge that we're doing, phase one, it's all about the total carb. I don't care about the calories. I don't care about, well, I want to keep my protein high enough not to ever lose any hair or muscle. I don't care if I go over in any of them, though. Any category I go over other than the carbs, I don't care. We're not tracking. But it is nice to have that data. But that data doesn't matter to us this month, at least not to me. Ketone 0 0.3, same as yesterday, still not in ketosis. Okay, let's do glucose now. Seventy-seven. That's a good number. Still nothing. So yeah. We've gone three days trying to get back in ketosis. Okay, so my GKI is four. 14.2 slowly getting better and better um, I really loved my glucose that was a great number my ketones are still just not there yet 8 40 a.m. I tried to push my breakfast back as far as I could and this is as far as I can go I am starving still trying to get back in ketosis which makes me extremely hungry until I get there there is a video that I will be inserting in this one so I'm not going to try to make this too long um I I ended up watching a show called Thousand Pound Sisters. I had a lot of reactions while I was watching it this morning, and I ended up climbing in my bed and turning the recorder on and talking to y'all about it. And that was only not even getting to the ending of the third episode. I have a lot more reaction after watching all of it. I will not give it away for anyone who do want to go see it, um, but let's just say, um, they, yeah, let's just not say anything, and you can watch the little rant in a little bit, um, but, and I won't go on to the details about 
after watching it, how much I still disliked Tammy and ended up disliking her even more until the last episode. Um, so, I'm just glad I wasn't that way. I just wanted everyone to leave me alone, not talk to me, and I shot myself into um, my room. I, I wasn't evil to people. I just closed myself off to the world. <clears throat> but, yes, yes, my head is shaking because I am coming off my ibuprofen. The ibuprofen helps my head not shake. It helps with the inflammation in my muscles and the nerves that are all messed up. That is destroyed right now like I need physical therapy I was going to it and then Pam pandemic happened and uh, no more physical therapy for me so I just have to live with these issues right <laughs> but it's not as bad as it was last year last year I couldn't even get out of bed around this time y'all remember the end of December and January and stuff I was laying in bed couldn't raise my head up at all the shaking was so bad I would throw up constantly um it was so much worse last year, so I can do with the head twitching. And the whole reason I have to come off the ibuprofen is because I cannot lose weight while I'm taking it. It's just not possible. I am kicked. My sugars go up. Um, losing weight is 100% possible for me because it is not a calorie thing at all when it comes to me. Because I could go down 600 calories and not lose a single pound at all because my blood sugars and stuff are too high. I could eat three, 4,000 calories. Yes, I've done it in the past. Um, and lose weight as long as my blood sugars and ketones are in check. And, and I feel way better when I'm in ketosis. Um, so yeah. Uh, but um, I'm still not in ketosis. This is day four trying to get in. So I only tried three days so far. So the reading this morning was for the three days. The weight, weigh in weight was for um, three days of trying to get the water weight back off, try to get back to what was it, like 164 something. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with the weight. The weight's going fine. It drops a lot faster water weight on me now than it used to, even though I did have ibuprofen two days ago. Um, so I'm perfectly fine with those numbers because you know I still got ibuprofen probably in my system. Uh, so yeah, and, and I'm drinking a couple of these a day too, so I'm, I'm taking in way more fluid than I normally do. So, I've had y'all ask me, more than one of y'all, one of y'all put it in the comment, um, but I've had some private, um, messages on it. Um, if you're doing phase one, it's 20 total carbs. It gives you a list of food, how much in each category, that's what you eat, Right. Well, guess what? I'm not kept a secret. I am drinking my collagen. It is not on any of those lists. Okay, the sweetener is. It's on the list and I can have it with no problem. But the actual collagen, the actual powder, isn't on the list. There are two reasons. One, they do not put any name brand things out there. And they're not going to tell you to, you can have a collagen or protein powder or something because there are so many out there that it's too high in carbs or you won't know how to adjust it right. So page four, phase one, is for someone who is doesn't really know anything about keto or just want to do it the easiest way of not thinking, not using macros, not using, like you're not having to track anything. It is completely lazy. You throw a cup here, you get these two cups here, you eat whatever you want for your protein. Bam, no thinking. Four ounces of cheese. Okay, two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Okay, we get two tablespoons of heavy cream today and we get six black olives. No thinking. But guess what? I can think. I've had my collagen for two years and uh, I can lose weight on it. It doesn't stall me. It doesn't hurt me. And I put it in my macros because I'm tracking for all of y'all, but I already know it with it because I've done 20 total carbs for over two years. Other than come September, that's when I switched to net carbs, and that was all because of keto chaos. Keto in the chaos. See, she was doing net carbs, and I was getting really, really jealous about watching her and other YouTubers do net carbs, and I was stuck on total carbs for years. So I switched over because I knew I was stalled anyways taking the ibuprofen. It happens every single year in my journey. It's why it's taken me three years to lose all this weight. 
when everyone else would have lost it in two years max. But me, no, I am do not lose weight from September to January every year of my journey so far. Even though I was 368 pounds, I did lose like 30 something right off the bat, but it was during that time frame when I started keto and I didn't lose any more until after January because I take ibuprofen for fibromyalgia around the clock, 800 milligrams every six hours from that time frame. So, so this is what I'm gonna tell you. Especially Premier Protein Shakes. I was debating before these comments were even put in or talked about in chats or anything about what about next week I add Premier Protein Shakes back in my diet and see how it affects it um, and use it as four, net, four total carbs, like it says, because I'm left with six total carbs or more a day that I'm not using. And I don't like to eat that much food. Instead of grabbing those beef sticks, I would prefer to grab a protein shake instead of grabbing the beef stick and the, the sliced cheese. I'd rather just have that protein shake. So I'm okay if y'all want to do that. It just means you need to track what you're eating to make sure it's going to fit in your macros. That's the catch. If you want to do phase um, one, page four, lazy, where you don't have to think, you just do what the paper says, then you can't add it until you make sure. Otherwise, you could go over your um, carbs really easily. Um, but I am not having any extra, y'all are probably lower in carbs than me if you really think about it because I'm having collagen and my collagen puts like four total carbs on, in my diet but I'm just having some lettuce and cucumbers. But if you're having like squash, zucchinis, um, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, those are gonna add up quicker than what I'm doing with the less tomato and you know, cucumber. And most people would have more than 43 grams of the tomato. So it's up to you. If you wanna track or at least figure it out, because I'm pretty much eating the same food for four days in a row. Um, I'm still tracking it for y'all. I'm still showing it for y'all. Because some days I don't eat the extra food, what I made for lunch, and some days I do. So I am tracking just for everyone to see what I'm doing. Um, but I really am thinking about throwing in some protein shakes and seeing what happens. I also need to see if that was what was hurting my stomach or not. Because, you know, I was having some stomach issues. But I can tell you right now, right now I'm not going to do it. Because... After not putting that cheese that has, like, I realized I can grind my own cheese up or I can eat organic cheese as long as I grind it up or it's a slice and I'm fine. If it's not organic and it is shredded, I will have severe stomach aches because I ate my salad and everything perfectly fine yesterday. I ate my slice of cheese, which is organic, perfectly fine, but I was having to eat my salads at my mom's house. And I didn't have any cheese, so I was using her shredded cheese, which is definitely not organic, and it has starch all over it. Um, it's just funny what affects my stomach and doesn't. So, you want to uh, add the protein shake? Go right ahead. Just, you know, pay attention, because the whole way it works is your 20 total carbs or less. That's why it works. So, even when I wasn't doing page one, um, page one, phase one necessarily, uh, I still followed certain rules. 20 total carbs. I followed the rules on, I basically got addicted to making my salads that way and things like that. So, and six olives. Sometimes I would do three or four tablespoons of mayonnaise in a day though. I, I didn't follow the rules on the butters or the creams or the mayos when I would all last summer when I lost all that weight. Um, because I was tracking, I didn't care. I just did as I wanted. Um, and But I have done this before. When I first went to um, one of the conferences, Adapt a Life Conference, it's been two years now, I think. And um, I followed it religiously at first, but my stomach didn't like it because I was eating all those salads and it started making me sick. But... I think it turned out to be that it was the cheese I was using. It was this or that that I was using. Once I changed my mayonnaise, once I changed my cheese out, once I no longer ate spinach because 
My stomach can't deal with spinach. Unfortunately, it can't deal with broccoli, and I love broccoli. Um, I can only do a certain amount of cauliflower. Like, I had to learn that keto vegetables, which I love cabbage, but my stomach doesn't. I had to learn that if I'm going to do keto, I really can't eat that many vegetables that they call keto vegetables because they really hurt my stomach. Because I could eat carrots all day long and um, still lose weight and not be sick to my stomach. However, it does kick me out of ketosis and it's not on that list. So I'm staying away from it and being a good girl. And uh, there's my phone. Let me go ahead and show you my weigh-in and um, I'll show you the, the rant video too. Socks. He's the daddy of most of the cats. He's a pain in the butt. Doesn't let anyone near him. He normally didn't live here. He would come eat and disappear. But now he has uh, stained, stained it. And, and I'm afraid it smells like he might have sprayed out here. And I'm freaking out. I'm hoping he didn't. Because I've been very kind to him. Letting him live here during the winter. Where are you going? Wait, wait, where are you going? Did I scare you? Let me smell. Well, it's not this, but oh, look how dirty that is. Oh my gosh, it's a good thing it's a cheap sheet. Yes, it is. Silly kitty. Come come down to Nana's and I'll feed you. Hey, I totally got to show y'all. It is nice, bright, and sunny. No more gloomy clouds that make me cry and make me not want to get out of bed. But a beautiful, beautiful blue sky today. You see the clouds. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And look at that sun. And it feels amazing against my skin. It's 2.40 and I am about to have my meal prep salad that I did with no cheese again today because I don't have the organic for it. I have organic slice, but it's not the same, not the same. I'm going to mix up my two tablespoons of Duke mayo with a pack of sweet and low and some Himalayan salt and put it all on there. Just went to Food Lion. Let me show you what I got for the nuts. I don't know, four or five days, I think. We'll see how long it lasts. I have two heads of lettuce. Four tomatoes, which will last me a long time, believe it or not, because I don't use that much, because we are having hamburgers. So, because of the virus, I don't want to go to the meat market. That town is ate alive with it right now. So, I'm trying these two different brands, two different qualities, two different, they're like different in fat and everything, and see which one does I do the best on, which one hurts my stomach less, I don't get nauseous, and all that good stuff. Um... And I'm hoping they'll both work, or at least one of them, because this is at the end of my road. This is not even a mile away from my house. Um, it's so much more convenient because I have to go there for all the lettuce and tomatoes. I also got this bad boy for my cheese because this should not affect me, hopefully. Um, I'm just going to shred it up and stuff. But for these, I actually have organic cheese slices. I also bought this to try. Not sure how this will work or not with my stomach. It's not really a keto issue. It's a stomach issue I have. Um, so they don't really put anything in it from what I can see. There's like nothing, nothing really added. So I also got me cold brew dark roast. I want to, you know, try it again. I've never tried it already made like that. Making it at home just doesn't taste the same. And I got some rare roast beef, just like less than half a pound, um, because sometimes I can get away with this, and I would like some lettuce, tomato wraps, some too. So I have about four, at least four or five days worth of food right here, because I also have, you know, my eggs and stuff. I have eggs, bacon, and all that good stuff. And these are so big, I'm only going to be able to eat one patty at a meal, so maybe one or two a day. So that's eight patties there. I have at least five days worth of meat there. Easy. Easy. And here is my weight for today. 165.8. So that is mm, almost back to where I was. I don't know. I've lost track. But uh, it almost took that pound back off kind of lost track. Let me see what yesterday's was. Hold on. Go through these real fast. So on the first, 
with my cheats on New Year's Eve. Um, 168.6 is the number we are working from. And the second, I was 166.4. I ju jumped up a pound to 167.4. Oh, there is today, 165.8. So, you know, it's, it's water weight. Like, once I'm down to 164, then I'll be excited because that's why I was before Christmas, before the boo-boo Oreos and everything. Um, so no excitement here yet, but did you see how I went down two pounds, went up a pound, went down two pounds again? This is just how my journey has gone the whole entire time. I'm going to go down two pounds, up a pound, down two or three pounds, up a pound. Like, it's just up and down, up and down, but sooner or later, it just stays off. So I can't wait to have long hair again. I decided to play with the wig I got for Christmas. And my hair used to be this long. And then two years ago, it fell out in the pool and stuff. Yeah, it broke off. It went all crazy. And boy, I miss it being this long. I'm hoping one day I'll get this long and, and thick again. Because I was born for long hair and pink hair if you ask me so yeah everyone tells me i should get extensions first of all i'm afraid it'll damage my hair and uh, they're crazy expensive so this is me being silly pretending i have long hair again with a wig it's working while i'm in the house right i'm totally gonna do a tiktok like this so anyways as you see i'm being goofy and silly right now um I haven't eaten dinner yet. It is four. I'm not hungry, of course, because I just ate that salad. I don't, I'm doing my dinner for lunch each day, and then I don't know if I'm going to have anything for dinner. I have some chicken breasts. I have some boiled eggs if I decide I want anything, and I will totally show y'all, but I really wanted to show off the wig, okay? I really wanted to show off the long hair that I miss like crazy. My hair was longer than this. <sighs> Never let your magnesium go low. That's all I gotta say. Because they told me it probably got damaged from my magnesium being so low. And when I got in the pool with the chlorine um, and the special shampoo I was using at that time because my hair was already damaged from the magnesium issue, it just all broke off in my hands. So, can't wait for it to be long again. Till then, I'm going to have fun on TikToks with some wigs. So, um, I hope everyone's having a great day. And I know I'm being ridiculous, but it's okay. It's okay to be a little ridiculous. We need to have some fun, right? And, uh, ooh, maybe I'll go sing some songs on Sing Snap like this. I record myself like this on that. That would be more fun than TikTok. <laughs>